Coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart with big differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds, fighting out of New Delhi, India, introducing the challenger, El Toro. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York, Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the gun. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, spinning back fist lands. Again, back into this position. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gun. So we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now. Because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Head kick lands. Oh, tags him with the overhand. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice head kick. Three minutes to go. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! What is it? like it did stop. Fourth week. 
go. Big knee. Big ball for punch land. Now he get back to range. Nice. Oh, shoe juggle. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hooked. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, single so call a timeout. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Out of range with that one. Oh, single call a tie here. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, close guard now. Back to their feet here. Oh, big knee! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Battling for hooks. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to what a round. Alright, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Second round underway. Big kick land. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, and that is it. Referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we. Your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at 20 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Ireland. And still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that. He is the standard by which all heavyweights are measured.